Hello guys, Toby here. This video is gonna be a little bit different. Normally you see me reviewing all kinds of electronic products on this channel. But this time I want to talk about a topic which is really fascinating for me. And that is deepfakes. I'm sure a lot of you have already seen some deepfakes out there. In case you haven't, deepfakes are videos that are manipulated with the power of artificial intelligence. The term deep comes from deep learning which is a special learning method to train artificial intelligence models. Most of these videos show people whose faces have been swapped with those of different people. And the crazy and scary thing is that those fakes have an amazing quality and can fool quite a lot of people. While I was finishing my master's degree in post-production last year, I was researching and studying deepfakes quite a lot. The question that always came up for me was, if people actually could still detect deepfakes. So I decided I wanted to test this and created some video samples. Since most of the deepfakes out there show famous actors or personalities, they are easily spotted as deepfakes because you just know that Jim Carrey was not in The Shining. I don't think that's true. I think you have some very definite ideas about what should be done with Danny and I'd like to know most of the deepfakes out there are not meant to fool anyone. They are created to entertain people and they do that quite well. A lot of them are really, really funny. But the technology behind it is quite scary and can be used in a harmful way. In this video, I will show you 10 videos and I want you to find out if any of those are deepfake or even multiple ones. Just write the associated number of the video sample in the comment section. I will talk a little bit more about the video creation process now. If you're not interested in that and just want to do the test right now, look in the comment section, there you will find timestamps that will take you to the test right away. Just be aware, none of these videos contain any audio. I just want you to focus on the visuals. Also, you won't find the answers in this video. I don't want any user to be spoiled by any other comment. That's why I will publish the answers in my upcoming video. So if you want to see that, just subscribe and wait a little bit. To make sure that the deepfake is not just simply detected by knowing the actor or the TV show, I only use stock footage. This is overall a lot more complicated than you might think. You need quite a lot of footage to create the deepfake. And that's the reason why so many people are creating deepfakes about famous actors or personalities because you find so much great and high resolution footage of them free on the internet on platforms like YouTube. That's the reason why they're so easily detectable, because you just know that actor A has never played a role in film B. And that's why stock footage is such a great compromise. You get quite a lot of high quality footage, but the actor is not that well known. I also wanted that the whole creation process would be possible on a typical computer. To create a good deepfake, you need quite a lot of compute power. So high expensive workstations or even better cloud computing are perfect for this job. I wanted to achieve a result that people could reproduce at home with the hardware they already own. I just wanted to raise some awareness that this technology can be misused by a lot of people out there and that you don't need the most expensive PC there is. I know it's quite complicated to define a normal PC as it depends on your budget and the location you live in. Nevertheless, here's a short list of the PC I use to create those deepfakes. It's especially complicated as even mid-range graphics card can cost up to $700 right now. Nevertheless, it's not even close to the best hardware you could use for the deepfake process. On the software side, I use Deepface Lab. It's the most well-known deepfake software out there and over 90% of all the deepfakes out there are made with this software. It's not that easy to use as you have to use a terminal to input your configurations. So that's quite uncommon these days for a lot of people. But as it is free, you can give it a try anyways. I won't go into any further details about the creation process as I don't want to bore anyone. If you are interested in this, just write me a comment and hit me up and I will gladly create a video about that. I just wasn't sure that anyone would be interested. I hope you like this new video format, it's still a bit new for me and as you probably can see I'm quite nervous as well. <laughs> but I hope you like this, this video, 
I wish you all the best and have fun with the next 10 video samples and see if you can detect all the deepfakes. Have fun, see you later, bye.